Did you want to know what you can get for $313,000 in a community of Twilliger Town? Well then you're going to want to check out this two bedroom townhouse condo that's a desirable end unit in the condo complex of Blackstone. I love the curve appeal of these units with the brick and creamy beige siding and the stairwell leading up to the front door, it'll definitely leave a lasting impression on your guests when they come over to visit you. The front door of this property is accessed from a sidewalk coming directly off Twilliger Boulevard and is facing east so you'll get lots of sun in the morning. Being in Twilliger Town, you're close to almost everything. It's about a five minute drive to Windermere Shopping. You've got both an elementary school and a high school nearby, Twilliger Rec Center, and everything else is close by as well. It's one of the best locations in Edmonton. All right, let's take a look inside. Uh, the moment you come in the house, you've got a tile floor in your entryway here, which is great for cleaning, making sure that you can get it wet and not have to damage the floors. You've got a convenient closet right here, and then it opens directly into the living room, which has laminate floors throughout the living room and moving into the dining room. I like that you've got a great big window here that's also east facing, so it's gonna get a lot of light in the first half of the day, especially, uh, and they've got a pretty big open space here with the fireplace, which I would say is essentially the centerpiece of the living room. Uh, you can do what they did here and put your TV up above it. Or if you'd like, you could actually do a different sort of setup where you put your TV over here instead. Otherwise, this would work well as a dining room. So you could put a dining room table here and have your TV set up over there. Or you could flip it, put a TV on that wall and make your front room a sort of formal dining room. I really love the flexibility of this space. Uh, a lot of floor plans, they don't have as much wall space. So you end up having to be pretty rigid in how you set up your furniture, whereas this one gives you lots of flexibility. Plus, since it's an end unit, you've also got these two extra windows that are south facing, so they can also bring in a lot of light as well. Whereas other units in the complex that aren't on an end, will not get those windows. So uh, the other thing I'll mention is you do also have easy access to the rest of the house here. You've got a half bath just sort of tucked in over here, which is easily accessible from the living room, uh, the basement, or even the kitchen. So it's, it's centrally located in the house. And of course, from the living room, you can also get downstairs to the basement or go upstairs. That pretty much wraps it up for the living room. Now let's go check out the kitchen. I love the layout of this U-shaped kitchen. You've got plenty of cabinet space with these light wood colored cabinets that wrap all the way around, which gives you a whole bunch of storage. And you've also got a lot of countertop space, so you're never gonna be fighting over countertop space. Now, if you look over here, I think this is the perfect setup for a coffee bar. That's exactly what I'd put here as well. You've got plenty of storage in these cabinets. Uh, stainless steel, a fridge, then of course, uh, we always need more storage, so you've got the pantry over here, uh, whether you've got to you know, put in your air fryer, your dry goods, um, what else, a, an instant pot. We've got all types of kitchen appliances these days, so having a pantry space is almost a necessity. Then you move over here and we've got a stainless steel glass flat top stove, which is really uh, sleek and convenient, as well as another stainless steel uh, microwave with the hood fan built in. This one is vented whenever you see this box like that. Uh, that means it's vented outside, which is always preferable to the ones that just blow it out. So that's the setup that you want. You've got a tile backsplash going around. The countertops are laminate. And then over here, we've actually got a double sink with um, a, the pullout, which is also really important. And this is a west facing window. So you'll get lots of light in the evening uh, when you're preparing meals with your family, uh, as well as over in the dining area, with, which has a big uh, sliding window door as well. So we'll take a look at that next. And directly connected to the kitchen is your seating area. You've got the kitchen just behind us over there and you've got room for a pretty decent sized dining room table. This is a four seater. You could maybe fit a six seater here. And you've also got a big sliding, uh, sliding door here that goes out onto a quite large patio, uh, which is west facing as well. So you can get a lot of light coming in here in the evening. All right, shall we take a look at the patio? 
patio comes right off the dining room or kitchenette area. You've got room for a barbecue over here and a whole bunch of room for seating space. Obviously, it's not really being used a whole lot right now, uh, but you could set up a pretty decent patio here and enjoy your mor morning coffee, maybe do some barbecuing, or just hang out with your friends and family in the evening and you can soak up the sun until quite late at night in the summer. And one other thing that I was gonna point out, if you look across the street here, you can see what these units look like from the back. This unit is exactly the same. You're going to have your garage underneath, which basically goes down into your basement. So the garage is actually directly below us right now. So that's kind of how it's set up in here and uh, it's a great patio. Okay, now we're upstairs. Uh, but before we get into the bedrooms, I wanted to point out one thing that's uh, unique about this property is instead of having the typical three bedrooms upstairs with a master and two smaller bedrooms, with this one, you get two bigger bedrooms that essentially both act as masters and have their own ensuite bathrooms. Uh, they're both very large. Uh, there's a couple differences in the bathroom, which we'll check out next. Let's take a look at the unit uh, in the front. So this bedroom is quite large, as you can see. This looks like it's probably a queen size bed in here right now. You could easily fit a king size bed. You've got a decent closet over there, another large window that looks out the front of the property, uh, bringing in that morning light. Um, and over here is access to your ensuite. But I will mention all the carpets upstairs are recently replaced, so they're nice and plush. All right, so coming into the bathroom, this one's a three piece bathroom. So you've got a full size shower, you got your toilet over here, and then over here you've got your vanity and your sink set up, the little bit of storage here in the cabinetry. It's the same type of cabinets that we had in the kitchen, so it, it, it carries throughout the house. And you've got another window here, which is nice, whether you wanna just get a breeze in here or bring in a little bit more natural light. Let's go take a look at the other master bedroom. But before we do that, I did want to mention that there are a couple closets here at the top of the landing. This one's a bigger linen closet, and then there's another one there behind us that you can also use for more storage as well. So let's head into the other master bedroom. Right now, you'll probably notice that it's being used as a kid's room, and it's quite large, so they've got enough room for all their toys and everything. But this one almost feels bigger than the other bedroom. Definitely could fit another queen or king size bed and potentially multiple dressers. And this one actually has a walk-in closet, which is awesome. So if depending on your living situation, you might be fighting with people on who gets the, the room with the walk-in closet. So you got lots of space in here uh, to put all your clothes and some other storage on top. Now, one other thing in this master bedroom is going to be the second master bath. So in this one, it's a little bit of a different setup. You've got your vanity here. You've got a much larger mirror. So this one's good for getting ready. Got good lighting above. This one's also got a tile floor, same cabinetry. And this one, instead of having a, a, a shower, this one's got a tub shower combo. So you got a little bit more space in here, whether you want to take a bath or a shower. Okay, so now that we've finished with the upstairs and the main level, now we're gonna head into the basement, which if you remember, you can access from the living room. All right, so the living, uh, not the living room, the rec room downstairs is quite large, really opens up here. It's basically completely open. Right now you can see it's being used as sort of like a kid's playroom, uh, but this could be a theater room, a workout gym, a, uh, an office, any combination of things. It's out of the way, so it's not the first area that your guests are gonna see. So it's okay if this room gets a little bit messy. You've got a nice big window that looks out the front of the property here. And then over here in the rest of the basement, you've actually got your laundry room. So the laundry room is sort of conveniently located in here. It's got your own door here so you can keep it closed up if it gets messy in here. Uh, and over here, we've got another closet. Uh, and you're gonna use that because you're actually gonna be coming into the house often from this door uh, when you come in at the end of the night because that's actually the access to your double garage. So uh, you can enter right through here and hop into your car easily. And over here is actually just the utility room. We won't go in there, but there's a newer hot water tank that was just replaced in the last couple of years. So that pretty much wraps it up for the inside of the house. We'll, we'll take a quick peek at the back of the house uh, to show you that double garage from the outside and that'll be the end of it.
All right, we're now out back uh, from the property. This is the back of the unit. Uh, so you can see that you got access to your double car garage here. And you've also still got a driveway. So not only could you fit two cars inside your garage, you could fit an additional two cars on the driveway for a total of four cars. And just to kind of fill you in about this area a little bit, this is how everybody in the complex uh, accesses their garage. So you'll also put your garbage out here. You'll drive in, drive into your carport and your garage and uh, head upstairs into your new home. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you're interested in taking a look at this property in person, you can either reach me directly at 780-819-5508 or go to booktrevornow.com, select the time on my calendar and then I'll call you. Or if uh, you're already working with a real estate agent, just tell them to reach out to me and we can set up a showing for you. So thanks so much for watching. If you wanna watch more videos like this, you can click over here uh, for a playlist for more video walkthrough tours, or you can click over here to subscribe so you never miss another video.